What is going on guys? I'm Gabriel Mike and we are back on Minecraft once again. We are on Agrarian Skies modded mod pack. Modded mod pack. Um, what this mod pack does is it kind of puts you on an island. Um, there's actually a, a better map for this, but I feel like that makes the map a little bit too easy. So I, I created a 3x3x3 block with a tree on it. Uh, you're over the void and pretty much what the objective is is you start with just this one tree and uh, what is this like? nine pieces of dirt or uh, whatever 27 pieces of dirt and you got to uh, kind of rebuild everything so I'll uh, kind of jump in here real quick with the quest book Let's see if this open up there we go all right it can uh, read but we're just gonna kind of skip through that what this is is all right so let's click on the first one you have seven different sections you can do with the first one's obviously what we're gonna start with <laughs> alas all has been lost you are the sole survivor of the devastating tragedy now it's up to you to rebuild the world and create a new community which can flourish once again starting with only this little skyblock created by omnipotent goddesses the jaded one and the cute one who choose to abandon you after this final act of mercy uh, with nothing more than a book this book filled with quests to start on your journey you must survive or you must what is it okay I just lost my place with nothing more than but this book filled with quests to start uh, on your journey, you must first get a grasp of the basics of survival in this brand new world. Alright, so we open it up real quick. Um, in the. Uh, let's make sure I'm on the right mode. No, I'm not. Alright, let's delete that item. Or we gotta go to options, inventory, recipe mode, global. Let's make it global. Recipe mode. Okay. So. I gave myself a hopper and two stacks of bone mill because if you download the actual map for it, that is some of the starting items you get, and you get one of each sapling, which I'm not going to do that part, but, so I gave myself a hopper and some bone mill, that way we're not just sitting here waiting for trees to grow as well. Alright, so let's start here, using the book. This book is a new invention from VSWE, Scott Wears. You must be wondering how to use this book on the off chance that you have no idea what you are doing. This very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First off, if you right click on any page, you will go back to the previous. Alright, so that's pretty much telling me how to use the book, which I already know. So our first task is crafting. Uh, craft a wooden plank. Alright, so we're just going to start by chopping this tree down. And I have played a little bit of this mod pack, so I kind of know what I'm doing. So we're actually going to start by doing this. We're going to plunk this down right here for now. We're going to take this other piece of wood. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to create a crook. And what a crook does is it's just four sticks like that. And it allows a better yield of saplings when you break uh, leaves and whatnot. So we can get more saplings. Hopefully at least one. There we go. Okay, we got one. So we're not, we're not totally screwed, which is good. All right, so let's see if we can get a few more. Oh, and we already got a silkworm, which is really good. Uh, we'll go in more into that here in a little bit. Once we uh, once we get started a bit here, so I'm just going to finish this off. Get a few more saplings, maybe. All right, so we got four. That's not terrible. We're gonna finish uh, cutting this tree down real quick. All right, so what makes this map so I don't know intense um, is the fact if we open our book back up here. Uh, let's first claim our reward. So when you click claim reward, you get um, the rewards, obviously. <laughs> so we got an apple and a pick of Spinter Dreams. Okay, so if you look here, we can uh, maybe go back. Uh, it's not going to let me go back all the way. Uh, but we have a given amount of lives. And right now, I think I only have like two lives, I want to say. Two, let's see. That's not going to tell me, is it? Uh, you currently have two lives left. So once those two lives are gone... Uh, if I die twice, then our map is over, and we have to either restart or just decide to, to give up. So we have... Oh! Oh my gosh, I just threw all my wood off. That's alright, that's not a big deal. Alright, so let's see. We're going to take these two, <laughs> the two that we have left. Luckily, we have plenty of bone mill. And we're actually going to do this to start. We're going to break that. We're going to lower this down. Hopefully not losing any of this dirt. If we do, it's not too big a deal because we're actually going to be able to create our own dirt here in, hopefully, here shortly. So let's just grab this layer for now. Okay, and uh, we're going to hold on to that. We're going to place this tree down. We're going to bone mill it because we need a little bit more wood to get going. There we go. Okay, and that that's freaking huge. Okay, that's not, a, not bad. And the thing is, is we can't create axes yet because, and we're going to expand this before I fall off the ledge, um, because it has the Tinkers mod in it, which is actually pretty cool. And what that does is it allows you to create custom tools and stuff, but it kind of takes out the um, 
basic uh, tool creation, uh, vanilla t tool creation. So adds a bit of a twist to it and whatnot. But so we're gonna chop down this entire tree real quick. Let's see. I'm gonna have to climb back up a bit. And we're going to. I don't think. Ah, should we crook some of this? Cause this is just too big. We're gonna get enough leaves as is. So it's just not really worth taking the time to crook all this. I feel like. All right. See. Okay. We're getting plenty of apples though, which is good. And I'm kind of a little weary. A bunch of this wood is going to fall off the edge. Uh, wood is not gonna be a factor. Um, we're gonna have plenty of it, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, once again. But it does help at the very beginning here, expanding our island a bit. But it's not not too bad if it falls off. So we're just going to finish cutting this down real quick. Oop, make sure I'm not falling down. It's cool. I like these big trees. And at the same time, it's kind of annoying because you got to climb all the way up. And it just takes so much time to chop these down. But it ain't, it ain't a big deal. Not a big deal. So hopefully this is pretty much the end of it behind these ones. All right, let's see here. And so, so we completed that first quest, which doing so opened up a few more quests for us, which we'll view here in just a second. Let's see if we can get anything anymore. We'll just break that. Okay. Make sure I'm not standing on that because that's probably the last one. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't see any more logs up here that would keep the tree from decaying, so we can actually chop our way down now. Oop, there's one right there. Alright, I think that's the last one there. Unless there's some... No, that's it. Okay, cool. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad. And it's already nighttime, so that's gonna be fun. Um, let's just make sure my brightness is all the way up. Uh, I think it's video settings. Yeah, okay, there we go. Just so we're able to see at night here and it's not too dark of a recording for ya, for you guys. So, we have plenty of wood now. Uh, we're going to take a look at our questing book. And uh, we actually didn't lose any hunger, which is good. Another thing about this is the hunger is really odd. Um, like, apples only give you half uh, food. You, you really got to, like, scale it up. You got to cook it and everything. Um, combine different foods to really gain much hunger out of it. So with this, let's take a look at our quest. But actually, before we do that, we're just going to expand this out one more layer, just so we're kind of in a safe little threshold here. All right, that was much better, much better. I feel safer already. All right. So now, before we do this, let's put that tree down. All right, quest book. So we completed the first quest. Um, and it opened up both menu completion and the librarian. I'm not too worried about the librarian. Um, because it gave a lot more books uh, in the actual one, which we do not have. So we can't really complete that quest. All right, menu completion. The second task of the quest is the consume quest. You will not get the items back after turning them in. They vanish into the stomach of the giant void monster, thereby preventing him from eating you alive. That's good to know. Consume quests can be completed by collecting the items required and collecting, clicking the manual submit button like we did on that last quest at the bottom right of the book under the uh, requirements. Alright, so manual submit. So we lost one, but we got our quest delivery system. Now what this does is, it's not really a factor um, the way I play. Uh, what it does is it allows you to, instead of doing the manual submit, you actually put it in. It's slower, it's like, uh, it's just annoying. So what, do, doing that... Ooh, Let's get that apple. Yeah, give me that apple. Um, it opened up the QDS. The final way of turning quests is the quest delivery system. The block will require you to send items through a hopper or duct attached to the block. AE buses can also send items to the del uh, delivery system. Before you send items to the system, you'll need to key the system to the right uh, task or whatever. Uh, you'll need to use ducts to put the fluids. Yeah, so pretty much um, it, it, it really is just a slower way to turn a quest. So what we do is we put that up so now we take our book uh, select task and now we just right click it and found the QDS to the QDS alright now we just put one plank right in there and that should complete the quest yep no, no help given now now with our pickaxe that we got we have to destroy this and turn it back in the hopper so that's why I gave myself the hopper because there is no chance of us finishing this without the hopper and I'm actually just gonna destroy this uh, actually, we'll keep it for now, just in case. Um, and now we manual submit the feed, or wait, where is it? 
and I'll submit claim reward. So that gave us a full heart and a reward bag. Now these reward bags are pretty cool. We have three lives now, which gives us a little bit more, um, I don't know, sustain. <laughs> Alright, so what these reward, they contain a random reward depending on what, like, this is just a basic one, so the rewards aren't that great, but sometimes they really help. So let's see, we got 15 coconut saplings. So, or 16. Uh, we can place one of these down and it will grow and uh, provide us with some coconuts. So let's expand our island a little bit more here. Uh, let's see here, if I go this way, I'm heading towards desert. This is the beach, but the biomes are really small, so we actually want to, um, I think I want to grow stuff in the beach biome, so I'm going to expand it up this way rather than the other way. So, now it, that doing that quest opened up a few more, and we'll view those in just a second once I expand this out. We're not going to plant the coconut just yet, the, it, I, the... I got the coconut reward on one of my others, and the tree just didn't seem to want to grow at all. I bone milled it, I waited I don't know how many days, it still didn't grow. So we're not going to be too worried about that, but, so we'll just move on with quests for now. Okay, so in the beginning, this is the next one we want. Um, you may have noticed you have very little to start with, almost no land, no food, but hey, you have a floor, but be thankful for that much. Now it's up to you to rebuild the entire planet, or as much as you can before dying. To start with, I suggest growing some more trees. Oaks will supply you with apples and the saplings, leaves, and string you will be turning into dirt. Okay, so um, what we do is, if we look here, this this oak barrel right here, we can apply saplings, apples, string, you name it, into this oak barrel, and it will uh, turn it into um, dirt for us so we can uh, place more dirt on our island and whatnot to grow more trees, whatever. So let's just start by building everything. So we have our crafting table here, but it said to build a crafting station. Now what, what we do is we just plus that's right in there, and now we have our crafting station. We are going to uh, um, turn a bunch more of this into this. We're going to expand kind of our layout here a bit. All right, doing so will give us a little bit more. We'll just go right there for now. Room to work with. One more layer. Okay. So that that'll that will work. So we can place our crafting table there. What else do we need? We need chest, part builder, tool station, stencil table, oak barrel. Okay. So all this just requires a bunch of wood. So we'll take this, and let's see here. For the let's see, we need that. If we just do something like I think it's that, that will give us the part builder. Let's just build our chest. We need the oak barrel, which is just this right here which we actually need a lot more oak barrels so we're going to bone mill this tree oh oh god okay and we actually want to create another crook because we need a lot of saplings saplings make the world go round in this mod pack so create a crook if only you could create uh stronger crooks because these just seem to break way too quick that would be so helpful so hopefully we can get more we're at 12 saplings which is actually pretty good i think it's like eight saplings will give us one piece of d dirt i want to say something like that so it really isn't too bad uh it is grindy at the beginning so i may do some of this like just constant tree chopping off screen uh for the most part but we'll see we'll see how how it turns out so let's just cut this one down and replace another one our food's starting to dwindle uh we have a few apples. We really need to get this first one done because it will give us several apples. And we can actually break this piece of dirt as well. There's another layer of dirt underneath, but I'm not going to risk it for now. Um, so let's kind of set up our tinkers area over here. And uh, that's just that's just really sketch for me. I'm just going to place that there. Okay. Uh, we can place our chest down. Now what's cool is if you put it next to a crafting table, it gives you access to the chest. So if we put... St we can... Uh, store stuff and just take it right out from there. So we're actually going to put our silkworm in there. We need a few more oak barrels, so let's get started on that. We can just transform all this into that, and we'll just create two more. We need a total of three, and you'll see why here shortly. Okay, so we have that. We need a few more stencils. We need this with a crafting table. We place that there, that there. That'll give us the tool station. 
what what did we build? The part builder. I do not remember the st what the stencil is. Stencil table. How do we make this? So it's oh, okay. That's simple. Okay. So it is just another one of these with this right there. Okay. Now I believe that's everything for the quest. We'll have to look here. Oh, I guess I do have a book. Let's just get rid of that. We do not need that. Okay, so we can place this tool station there, stencil table there, and we need our oak barrels not in the desert biome. So let's see, desert, desert, beach. So we gotta place them over here somewhere. So we're gonna bone mill another tree, get some more. Oi, jeez, these giant trees. I've never gotten so many giant trees in my life. So we're gonna cut this one down, at least a little bit for now. Just to finish this this next quest, the in the beginning quest. All right, that should probably do it. We just want to expand our island a little bit more so we can place these uh, oak barrels down. Now I'm placing them in the beach biome instead of the desert biome because we need it to rain eventually, and we uh, these oak barrels will collect water, so we will be able to get uh, water. All right, so we can just combine that, place these right over here, Oop. right over here, like so. Looking good, looking real good. All right, make sure we are not in the desert biome. River, all right, that will work, perfect. Bang, bang, bang. And we can cut that down, cool. All right, so let's just take a look at our quest. So we have this complete. So we can choose between the Pan of Destiny or the Axe of Despair. We're gonna go with the Axe because we have a lot of wood cutting to do. Pan of Destiny is just like a furnace, kind of, you can cook food and whatnot on it. Um, so that will be irrelevant later on. And we got another reward bag. Let's see what we got. Bang. A Malachite. Oop. What does this do? Slowest flyer. Forestry. I don't know what we're supposed to do with it, but... I don't know. We'll put it in the chest for now. We'll figure out. Slowest flyer. Shorter life. Warm. Dump. I don't know. Okay, it's part of the forestry. So if anyone knows anything about the forestry mod, uh, let me know. Alright, so what's cool about this Axe of Despair, we'll take a look at it real quick. Uh, we get a skill level with it, experience, and as we cut stuff, we get experience with the Axe, and it will get modifiers, um, which will increase certain stuff, like the speed of which it chops, or like, uh, oh my gosh, that is so far out there. Or uh, durability, different stuff like that. And uh, with this mod pack, you can act, I don't know what part what mod it's part of, um, but you can actually, let's just make sure there's no more logs over on this side, you can repair your uh, stuff without an anvil, you just need a crafting table, I don't know if you can do that in real Minecraft now, because I haven't really played vanilla in forever, like legit survival, um, so I'm not sure about that, but I thought that was kind of a, a cool feature, so we can actually have this axe forever, which we, we don't want it forever, because it's, it's actually not that effective of an axe. But it will definitely help us for now. Alright, you can see I'm kind of chopping a lot a lot farther than what it seems. Actually, my field of view turned up a bit. I've been trying it. I actually really like it. Let's see, what is my field of view? I think it's at like 100. Yeah. So it, it kind of throws you off a little bit at the start, but I'm, I'm really liking it. Oh man, that music is really loud. Let's turn that down a bit. It's only at 20. What the heck? Jeez. Alright, we'll chop that. Jeez, this actually has a lot of wood. A lot of wood. We are not going to be short of wood for a while here. Hopefully most of this is falling on the island too. And not into the void. So we'll just continue to chop this down. Jeez. So that completed that quest, it gave us 10 apples as well, so we do not um, need to worry about food for a little bit. That's only 5 shanks though, so it really isn't that much food, but it will keep us from starving here for a little bit. Uh, hopefully just enough to, uh, come on, just enough to uh, get us to where we need to be. This is, a, this is like the biggest tree I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Um, can I chop that from here? No. Can I chop that one? No. Okay. Let me go up a little bit higher. Uh, Alright. That is my axe. That is my axe! Cut that one down. There's probably a few throughout this too, I'm thinking. Because it's keeping it from decay. It might just be these, actually. I don't know. 
Hopefully it's just these. And that should hopefully do it for this tree. Yes. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Alright, hopefully there I didn't miss any. But looks good for me. Okay, so we can drop back down. This is kind of risky. Oh! Oh! That was probably not worth it, but for like two saplings. But oh well. Oh well. What's gonna do now? What's gonna do? Alright, so now that uh, a lot of. Oh gosh, we are actually get, losing a lot of hunger now. Um, Let's eat some of these. Let's eat some of these apples. Hopefully we'll get quite a few. Oh, yep, see, I told. I knew there was uh, gonna be some. Uh, a lot more wood. Jeez. Hopefully we can actually get all. Yeah, we can get all this from the ground, though. So we don't have to climb back up. Uh, I'm on a resort from jumping as much as I can. That's why I hate these big trees at the beginning, too, because uh, it requires a lot of hunger to get around on them. So, there we go. Bang, bang. And we are actually going to expand this out a little bit more. One, two, three. If we do something like this, we can come back on land, place a dirt block here, and we can get a second tree growing for now. Alright, give me that apple. We'll just kind of put a nice little layer around it. Alright. Now we just got to wait for some of this decay. While we're waiting for that, we can actually view what's coming up next. Alright, now we have the string. Okay, now this is where the silkworm comes in handy. What we do is we're going to grow a tree. Um, we're going to wait for this one to fully decay, though. We're going to grow a tree and uh, place the silkworm in the tree and it'll infect the tree. Um, and then we just gotta wait for a little bit for the tree to get fully infected, and then when we use a crook on it, we will get string from it. So, uh, I'm actually gonna end the first episode here. We will, uh, delve into the silkworm, um, next time. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.